Hello, my name is Redux. Uh, thank you so much for coming back to watch the third episode now of my Let's Build series. Uh, just started off in shaders here real quick, just to quickly highlight some of the changes I have made off camera. Uh, you may well be able to see them already. So I'm going to do a quick fly through here. <coughs> Last episode we left off, just um, we'd done the framing for this building here. And I've now done the same on these other foundations that we laid, uh, so this one and this build over here. Uh, we will work on the actual framing for the builds today. I also mentioned that we will be working on just covering up these sort of blemishes in our terrain here. We don't really want these, I don't think these are going to be uh, a feature we're going to make use of. I suppose this could be a mine, but I think I'd rather do sort of a cave entrance for these ones. So I'm going to cover these over, and I also said we are going to work on the bridge today. Now, I've also laid out a few other bits and pieces around the map. So, one thing you'll notice is I've laid some yellow wool around the place. Now, the yellow wool is representing some farmland, farmland that will be going uh, in over the next couple of episodes. This pink structure here will be um, some sort of farm building. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that will entail just yet. Um, this may well be sort of a horse stables or uh, grain storage. Maybe a combination of the two, we'll work that out. I've also <laughs> got a little bit carried away and I sort of finished, I, th I don't think the river was quite this far previously, but I've brought it through to here. I've made sort of a pseudo cave entr entrance for the time being, um, and I've made this little archway here, just a little land bridge, which I think is just like a nice little feature and I want something else as like a little point of interest. And I think it looks qu quite good from all angles here. Uh, let's quickly <laughs> fix this weather and the weather should be going okay so I think um, that's probably about as good as an introduction uh, as we're gonna get for the time being that's just a quick summary of the changes I'm gonna hop out of shaders now just to <laughs> improve my performance a slight bit um, and when we come back we're actually gonna start with the terrain and then we're gonna do the bridge and then if we've got time we will start on the framing for the builds uh, hopefully I'm gonna do a lot of jump cuts I imagine just to try and squeeze as much progress as we can in this episode because I feel like we haven't got enough done yet and I really want to crack on with this build I'm, I've got a lot of motivation recently so I will see you shortly Brilliant. so now that the shaders are gone we can actually get started with getting into this episode so if you've looked in my inventory already, you'll see the tools that we'll kind of need here. Now, normally I wouldn't really use the red wool. Like I've said, I'm just using this to um, sort of highlight a little bit more clearly what I'm doing. Hopefully this will just stand out a little bit more. Usually I would just go straight in with the grass block. So if we start with this area over here. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at each uh, sort of layer of elevation here in the hole. And we kind of see them as sort of points to match up and smooth out. So you've got this point to this point at this level. And at this level you've got this area which goes to here. And then you've got here which comes to this point and so on and so forth. So we're simply going to link them up. Now the way I start this is by kind of sp spamming blocks to kind of get these to match up and kind of smooth out. So let's quickly do something like that. Uh, and I'm not going to fill in any of this here. Okay, and then I'm going to go on to the next layer, which we know is over this sort of direction. Okay, oops. Okay, so here for example, I feel like this line is too long, so what I would probably do is kick this out and we would kind of elongate this. This looks a little bit of a smoother gradient there. I think I'm kind of happy with how that looks. I'm just going to check this. Okay, yeah, I think that kind of flows about right for what we're after. Now this one's going to come down uh, a little bit steeper. I think for now we're going to roughly follow this gradient and then we're going to just quickly layer over it and I think that's going to about do it for us. This might be a little bit awkward and uh, we'll see how it turns out. It's always more difficult I've noticed, um, I've actually edited the first two episodes at this point and I've definitely realized how much more difficult it is to build on the fly while you're trying to talk and explain about what you're doing. Um, so if anything seems a little bit um, wonky or, or awkward <laughs> when I'm recording, please bear with me. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, get these issues ironed out over time. Okay, so 
<laughs> maybe this hasn't quite shown what I wanted to do, but essentially all I'm doing is matching up uh, or looking at elevation, drawing a line, going down a level, drawing a line, going down a level, drawing a line, and then here obviously there's no spaces, they're all kind of filled out, and I feel like this is a relatively smooth shape here. But over here, all I would do is I would then just fill in, like I'm kind of colouring in um, <laughs> a book or whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly do the same to this small hole over here. I'm going to replace all of this red wool with grass for the time being. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of smoothing off camera as well just to kind of make this area look a little bit neater. And then I'll be back with you guys. And just like magic, we have a smooth cliff face here. Uh, well, cliff face is probably inaccurate. We have a very... Um, very might be inaccurate, but we have a smooth hill now, uh, which is great. Um, didn't take me too long, uh, really, really quick. I've cleared up a couple of trees up there as well, just to kind of show that I've gone a little bit further back here. Um, I haven't done much smoothing, but I kind of just carved it out just to kind of make this flow a little bit more evenly. Um, now, does it look glamorous? No. Does it look incredible? No, but it has added a lot to the general area. Now that we don't have these two giant holes, We've got actually a lot more space to work with as well, which is always a good thing in Minecraft. Um, if we would have left those holes there, it really would have thrown off and it wouldn't fit in with the whole build. So it's always important to do the uh, even the boring stuff sometimes. And as I say that, I can see a couple of areas here where we could probably just make this a little bit smoother. So let's just quickly um, do that. And yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so the next thing I am going to work on is... Um, Oh, looks like there's a couple of paths there I need to work on as well. But I'll, I'll do those off camera. You've seen, you've seen plenty of that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to work on is this bridge. So let's quickly empty out my inventory. Now, in terms of the builds, I've, I've had to think about what colour I want to do the buildings. And I think I'm going to use um, stripped spruce or dark oak. Uh, and I'm going to use sandstone um, and dark prismarine, I think, to start off with. It's quite a nice colour combination. I've seen it used quite a lot, so it's a bit generic, but uh, it's quite classic and I think it's a good one to work with and it gives us the opportunity to put a lot of detail into our build and a lot of contrast and a bit of colour. So um, that should be a good one to start with. So I think we're going to try and use kind of similar uh, materials here. Let me actually just, while, I, while I've got you here with me, um, and where is, I can actually just borrow one of these blocks. And I think you get a bit more contrast out of the dark oak. So decision made, we're going to run the dark oak here. So let's just quickly start by seeing how this uh, sort of section of bridge would look if we just frame it in dark oak. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, I think that's going to work for us. Uh, I think we're going to try and have the grain of the wood go across. I think that makes more sense make sure they're all good yep and then I think I'll have the grain going that way there and then it will flow neatly back here okay I'm not gonna do a jump cut here because I mean it's gonna take me 10 seconds <laughs> or so uh, to do this section of the build and uh, voila we've got our simple bridge now when we're looking at bridges one of the most important things is uh, well not most important things but one thing I always try and include is a slight curve on the bridge I just think it looks a little bit nicer that may come down to personal preference at the end of the day um, but uh, so whether you do that or not is it's kind of down to you um, I'm gonna put some supports down in the middle here now because of the length of the bridge I really don't want to have a, a big high curve or anything I just want a little bit of a, a bump in the middle so I think we're going to use some of these spruce uh, slabs here and we're just going to make a way of getting up onto this bridge. Okay, and then let's see. So we're going to go up onto there. Let's quickly just fill this out so it's flat for the time being and walk over it and see how this is kind of feeling already. Okay, yeah, I think the angle's right. I mean, this isn't <laughs> optimal. I didn't plan this too well, but we're going to live with it. I think we can kind of survive here. Okay, so one thing I'm thinking here is although we're going to use the strip dark oak here, maybe I'm actually going to use oak here. I think the oak uh, logs blend in really nice with the spruce planks, and then we can use trapdoors just to make a tiny bit of definition on the top. 
So let me quickly replace uh, the border here, um, at least the outside edges with oak wood. I'm going to replace this with spruce and I'll be back with you. Yep, I think I'm much happier with how that looks uh, in all honesty. I do think that the stripped logs will look a lot nicer for the housing, but I think this is just going to blend a little bit nicer. And one thing I will actually add as um, a little bit of detail that you guys can use for your builds is to grab, where are we looking? Do we want spruce or dark oak? I think we'll go with the spruce wood here. Now, when the when you have a, a loop, a, a loop, when you have a log support going down into water, uh, it's worth just putting a darker shade of wood underneath. Uh, now that just makes it look like the wood's been kind of saturated by the water. And it's just, again, just a tiny little detail that will pop out and make your build stand out a little bit from others. So as I said, we're gonna give a go with the trap doors here. If if I could spell, let's grab those trap doors and let's shuffle everything along here. So looking at the midpoint of the bridge, it's gonna be around this kind of area. So let's quickly just put some trap doors down in the middle and see how that would look. I don't think it's gonna be enough for us. So let's knock these out here. So I think what we're gonna go with is some slabs in the middle. And then we're going to use some trap doors here just to make a bit of a softer gradient going up onto the middle of the bridge. Yeah, and that kind of gives us the curve we're looking for. It is a bit of a shame about the texture of these trap doors with the nails in them uh, for this particular use, but in general, I actually really love this texture, so I certainly still wouldn't want to change it. Now, the only other thing I'm thinking of here with this bridge, although I do want it to be super simple, I don't want it to be overcomplicated, is I think we can bring a little bit more detail in here, honestly. Um, I think um, that we can get a little bit more interest in. And maybe one thing we could do to get that interest in is actually to add some safety rails. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually, uh, well, to bring detail in here, is to put some chiseled stone brick here. Now that's kind of, to me, that's looking like, oh, you've got um, a junction and this is almost holding together uh, this upright bit of wood and this horizontal bit of wood. Um, just just again, just like a nice little detail that I like to put in. And then I think if we run some fences, I think we'll go with the spruce again. Just kind of try and keep it relatively monotone here, I think. And what would it look like if we just ran fences along here? It's probably not going to be the most pretty of designs, but it's probably going to do just about what we want it to. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I think one thing we could try, I, I don't think this is going to quite work out for us. Um, he says he's trying to fly around. Let's see what this would look like with trapdoors on the top of these fences. Just to try and, because um, here we've got like these empty diagonals, which looks a bit, I'm going to say wonky, but let's see how that's going to look. It's probably going to tighten up the bridge a lot more. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. Let's just quickly do this side as well. Okay. It's been a while since I've uh, <laughs> crouched and flown at the same time. Okay. Cool. It's a, it's a bit tight. Let's have a look from the sides. Yeah, I don't think I'm a big fan of that at all. Um, hmm. Okay. Let me have a little think. Um, I'm going to come up with a design that I like and then we'll let you guys rejoin me once I've uh, been able to find something I'm satisfied with. And that is so much better. Um, I think I can say I'm satisfied. I think maybe there are some changes I could make. I could certainly make this uh, better, but it's kind of got that shape that I was after. You know, it's got that slight curve. Um, now, the way I achieved this actually was by widening the bridge. Um, I wasn't able to fit enough detail in because it was so narrow, um, so I basically stepped the bridge out a little bit using some stairs and trapdoors. I brought some wooden supports up and I blended in some spruce detailing just to kind of get more of a curved look. Uh, and then all I did was I extended the slabs and the trapdoors here, and I put some kind of crooked, weirdly placed stairs here just to kind of 
I still want this to look like a rustic, slightly rundown bridge. So I think that kind of gives it that little bit of uh, texture variation and kind of helps with the, fe the effect we're going with. One thing we could actually do, thinking about it, is just putting some stairs kind of in these areas as well. Um, just again to kind of um, show that it's a bit worn down. And I think. Um, I don't know if I'm. I think just just that one will be enough, just to kind of show that it's notched out, you know, a little bit worn down. Obviously, we can't do it at this level because these are slabs. You can see um, if I put a stair in here, it's gonna bump up a little bit, and it's just gonna look a bit odd. So I'm not kind of uh, gonna use that technique in this area. Now, while I was off camera, I just did a couple of other bits. One thing I forgot to do was kind of I, I bone milled this area, threw some kelp in, just brings a little bit more life to the riverbed here. Um, it will look a, a tiny bit nicer. Uh, you know, I might have to come through here once these have started to grow up and take things down a little bit more, or reduce the amount of coverage we've got here, but just for the time being, I think it looks quite nice. I also threw a wall here. There was a bit of dirt here with no water flowing on it. I didn't want to put water there because I like the way it kind of curves around this rock here. Like this is harder rock and it's carved out around it. Um, so I kind of thought this mossy wall kind of fit in here. And if you see the bubbles here, I've obviously also added some soul sand down here. Now the idea is that the water is going to be crashing down here and, and maybe causing a bit of spray. So I, I tried to create the effect. I, I, I tried, okay? <laughs> now the only other thing I've done is I've just thrown the path in here and I've thrown a path in going back here where they were previously marked out with blue wool. So if we fly over here we can actually see we're doing pretty good. We've actually started to kind of flesh out what we're, what we're after and you're getting more of a picture hopefully of how this build's going to turn out. So if we fly over to this building, I think this was the first one I laid the foundations for. Um, and I think this is where we're going to start. So if we grab some wall blocks, let's go for a lovely cyan for the framing here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out the areas where um, I want the stripped oak to be. Uh, stripped oak, stripped dark oak to be. Um, now. I said before that I want this to hang over here. So what I'm doing is I'm just marking out the corners and I'm marking where this oak will be stepped out. And then I'm gonna simply join those areas up. And I'm gonna see how that looks to start with. And let's see, bring this over here. <laughs> Would help if I could reach the block. Okay, I'm not sure how I like the way these corners are looking right now but what we could do maybe is throw in some wooden supports at these corners and that should help take away from this kind of curved vibe that we've got so when you look at it from down below it definitely looks a little bit more structured I'm kind of kind of happy with that so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out where I want the entrance to be so I'm kind of looking at this area here let's grab some more wool uh, let's go with a red and I think I want the staircase up to kind of be in this area, just in line with this wall. So let's see where that would bring us out to. Okay. Yep. I think I'm kind of okay with that. So let's quickly define where this entrance is going to be. Like so. <clears throat> okay, so we'll have the stairs. They'll obviously protrude out one block here, um, which is fine. And then you'll walk up here and then you'll get this landing and this is your entrance here, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is just bring out these corners a little bit. Let's have a look. So I think we're gonna go up five in total and have the top of that frame come here. And this is essentially what I'm gonna do all around, just make these square outlines corners as well we'll do the same I'm just gonna do a lot of this first kind of level with you guys in terms of the framing just to show you kind of the general technique that I use um, I'll often find myself coming back to these frames revisiting them making alterations and whatnot and essentially all of this cyan wall will be converted to stripped dark oak this is just to give us a visual indication of how this is going to look with this being four tall? I think so. I think that's about the height we would be after here. Okay, I'm, I'm actually rethinking this entrance now. 
I think previously in an episode I said that I wanted this to kind of step out this way to overlook the water and I really do actually want to keep that. I do think that's going to look nice. I'm just going to take those out. I do think that's actually what we're going to go, go for. Now I don't think I want an entrance on this side. Um, so I'm kind of looking at this corner. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make it work. Maybe we could have an entrance coming up in this area and have a three wide door there we could kind of have kind of an arch look about it I'm sure I could get something worked out there okay that might be something we can work with where does this end up let's see so the stairs would come out from this kind of area that's actually not too bad I kind of thought I wouldn't like it but I think that's actually gonna work for us I'm surprised <laughs> that's I think that's gonna be fine cool okay so now that I've got those areas in I'm not gonna define any windows for the time being but this kind of gives you an idea of what we're gonna do um, now that I've said that maybe I actually will show you what I'm gonna do to define the window so I think here I'm gonna have a window so we'll have two windows looking over here with some flower boxes is what I'm kind of thinking and over this side I'm gonna step this out so I don't want to put anything here and on this back side you're going to get a nice view over here. So I think we're going to want a really big three wide window here. Um, so I think we'll have like sandstone down here, sandstone down here, and we'll have a big window where you can look out over this little waterfall. These areas will not be windows. These will be covered in, and this will be your door. Uh, and again, these will be covered in on the corners, I believe. Okay, so that's going to be kind of how we tackle the framing. I'm almost looking at this now and thinking I might bring this down one layer. Um, but let me have a little play around with the framing. I'm going to build up a second level, step this out a little bit, and then I'll come back with you once I've finished kind of the general framework of the house, and hopefully you'll get a good idea of what that will look like. And if I stand here, uh, hopefully we'll get a decent cut. <laughs> and that is the general idea we're going to go with on the house. Uh, yes, it looks absolutely mental at the moment, uh, what with all the colours and everything. But the reason I do the contrasting colours is just to clearly define the different kind of sections that we're going to be working with. And they usually actually define the materials we'll be working with as well. So, as we said already, the cyan wall will be the stripped dark oak. We'll have the prismarine for the purple wall. Uh, the orange wall, I mean for now I've just defined them as structures, but we'll probably be using some sort of um, spruce or dark oak uh, plank designs for that. The green will actually be the stone brick. When I say stone brick, it will be kind of this uh, this pattern we came up with. And then for the red here, we'll probably be going with a cobblestone with the staircase here. But hopefully, if I do a quick fly around here, this will give you a, a pretty strong idea of what we're going with. Um, it's ended up being a lot larger than I was anticipating. Um, bad habit from the old days, I used to build a lot bigger buildings. Uh, than your standard so this is probably a little bit bigger than I was anticipating to go for but I kind of like it you know I, I, I kind of like it I think we're gonna roll with this as being the bigger house this one will probably be slightly smaller over here I'm not sure what to do with this big building so I'll have a little think about that and then we'll have this farmhouse in the farmland uh, this episode is already running pretty long, I just looked at all the sections I've done, so I do apologise, we're going to have to kind of end it, uh, wrap up around sort of here. Um, but what we will do um, off camera is, I will actually do the framing for this building, and I will do the framing for this building down in this area. Might also do some other bits and pieces i'll probably bone meal the bottom of the lake uh, i might add some lily pads because i've just looked over there in the swamp and i think lily pads would be a nice addition to here um i think beyond that we don't need to do much else in terms of um adding to this build between episodes so framework for that framework for this and we'll do a little bit of work for the water um but yeah that will have to be it guys uh, if you've made it this far and you've actually been following along with all of these episodes so far seriously thank you so much uh, i haven't actually released at this point of recording any of the episodes um, uh, i kind of have a bad habit of falling off um, after not getting too far with projects so rather than uploading everything sort of and, and sort of 
doing the episodes as I go and uploading. I'm actually going to try and do a bunch of episodes in one go and release them over time. That should give me a little buffer to actually record the episodes just because I do work full time at the moment. And I've actually found with COVID going on, although I found myself having a lot of free time, I've also found myself working a lot more from home. So um, although I have a lot more free time to play games because I can't go out, I also find myself working a lot more. So it actually means I'm a lot more tired and don't necessarily want to put my energy into stuff like this. But I'm going to try my best. I'm actually having a lot of fun. I have been motivated to really crack on recently. So uh, I'm rambling. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.